Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. We're not in St. Louis anymore. Uh, we're back in Orlando in our first theme park stop. Back at Islands of Adventure, where the adventure begins. It's been a minute since we've been over on this side of the park. So we've been going to the Mardi Gras thing. I think the last time might have been when we came around for Rock the Universe and the Marvel Dining. The Marvel Character Dining was awesome, by the way, when we did it. We'll put a link to that video above. The park is crazy packed because it's spring break. I'm gonna try a little single rider action on Spider-Man. And with my anti-gravity cabin, even Spider-Man won't be able to stop me. You mean stop us? Yes, of course. In Cartoon Lagoon, they have all of the most recent cartoons on display for you, like Prince and Valiant, and Bringing Up Father, and then this kid that's like straight out of Enter Sandman from Metallica. Wanted to walk towards the back of the park here to check out construction updates for both Jurassic Park and Harry Potter. It looks like they bumped this wall out a little bit further, but they added a little graphic here. There's some across the way, some dinosaurs. Now photo ops. The raptor meet and greet is done for the day. That is a shame. I was really looking forward to trying to do that, but it closes early. By the way, I think with this construction, this may be moving from over in this area to just over towards that area. As you can see, there's a construction wall there, and it's right to the right of Pizza Predatoria. I think they may need this space for the coaster. That is rumored. Everything's a rumor. Nothing is factual. In case you're curious how the view is, outside on the patio of the Discovery Center, can't get out there now. You can see where they put a table where the doors were formally that you could go out, but it's closed. But the land's all clear. How you doing guys? Looking for some new neighbors? And all of the area outside of this photo op and to the left of the Discovery Center is all walled off now as well. There's nothing to see here though. Move along. We're leaving Jurassic Park. Coming across this magical bridge to a magical castle. And as we make our way through a very crowded Hogsmeade, you can see where the new coaster that is confirmed that's opening in another two months. It's getting ready here. Sunset happening right behind it. This is what things are looking like these days. See now, I walked all the way over to Fire Eater's Grill more than an hour and a half before closing. This place is sealed tight already. They have the best gyros around. I love them. But I swear, it's like Universal hates making money. It's legit still dinner time. Skull Island Reign of Kong is an hour wait. And no single rider. One of the buses driving all crazy. I think the best part of this ride is right here when the bus starts going into temple so at the discovery center you can't see the cleared land behind it from inside but you come over by the entranceway of the park and you can see done a pretty quick job at removing everything look at this guy out in the water i'm not sure i ever noticed that before universal set up for some special event probably a corporate event so they got this awesome photo op out here and there's a similar one not too far away a one in Rome? I'm gonna go in the Cat in the Hut. I'm gonna be that old man creeper. Because I love this ride, and it reminds me of Jess when she was a little kid. And it's always empty. So one last note before we leave. The sign is up for Mardi Gras right now. It's hard to believe, but only six months away, that sign will say Mardi Gras. It'll say Halloween Horror Nights. We'll have lots of awesome decorations here. The first house for Halloween Horror Nights 29 was announced this week. Stranger Things will be back, celebrating seasons two and three together. We'll certainly have more to come with our coverage of Halloween Horror Nights. Hey, so right at the end of the night, I ran into Michael Warbucks. How you doing, folks? Also got a YouTube channel. We're gonna link it up above. I gotta tell you something. Mike was the first person 
that ever supported the channel. It's a good never channel. It. <laughs> Years ago. It does a channel. I am in mourning all the time that Coffee with Bucks uh, is no longer here. No, that was a good show though. <laughs> Love getting the news. So before Philly DeFranco was super huge, it was Michael Warbucks. It was all about me. <laughs> it was great meeting you. Everybody out there in the Cheap Seats Nation. Kyle's a super good guy. And what you see is what you get, and it's great. It was awesome. There are a lot of people leaving here. Well, I am back home from Universal. Very crowded park today, I think, due to spring break um, up north and everybody coming down for vacation. Extremely awesome being able to catch up um, and meet Michael Warbucks in person. Um, just to give you a little background, uh, when I started the channel, um, Mike was one of the first people that found the channel um, and promoted it. And um, I think, you know, even going back five years ago, um, it wasn't a thing of everybody um, and their, their brother kind of out there filming theme parks and filming stuff around and everything. And, and Mike had been around for a while um, doing YouTube already. Um, you want to call it like the pre-everyone days. Um, doing kind of news stories um, and kind of like the Philip DeFranco show. Um, and um, also doing uh, more intimate like um, interactions with the viewers. Um, Mike Michael has done a lot um, over time for us um, in in uh, even putting us um, together with um, opportunities for um, anything from uh, partnerships with um, other uh, companies um, out there or promoting us and you know talking us up and things like that and he's been um, a great um, virtual friend. Um, over time, but uh, finally great to meet him in person and uh, uh, he has not been posting um, Content on the regular at this point Because um, I think you know if you've done YouTube from the past and you see the way YouTube's working today with ad revenue, etc. It's kind of a different ballgame and um, We can probably do a whole video at one point about um, how vi viral videos um, you know impact channels over time as well um, but in any event Really awesome to see him. It was great to be able to walk around the park for a while too. Um, you know, we got on a bunch of rides at, at Islands of Adventure. Um, can't really film rides at Islands of Adventure, but got on rides. And um, we got to be able to see some of the construction updates that have taken place too. But in any event, enough yammering. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes and your comments and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.